Bell, played by Eden Taylor Draper, has been taking a back seat from the drama on Immerdale recently, with the character being a source of support for her family following Marilyn Dingle's, Mark Charnock, stroke. The young woman hasn't had time for a romance really but this could all change in upcoming scenes on the ITV soap. This is because it seems she is going to be spending a lot more time with the man she was going to call her father-in-law, Al Chapman, Michael Wildman. The drama begins in next week's episodes as Belle decides she wants to pursue a new and exciting career path in the village. Having been working at the bed and breakfast since she stopped working at the veterinary practice, she voices how dissatisfied she has become. At the same time, Al is also looking for work, given how his plans to renovate the wool pack into a block of flats failed miserably. Al is a ruthless businessman through and through and he will take any chance he can get to take an idea and run with it as his own. With this being said, as he listens into what Belle is suggesting could be her next big venture, he sneakily decides to steal it as his own. Belle will have no idea he has been doing this but to make sure she is on side, Al could use his charm to try and win her over. If she were to discover he was trying to steal her ideas, the businessman could flirt up a storm with Belle to distract her from what Hess doing. Al knows he can manipulate someone if he takes the more romantic approach with them and the young dingle woman could fall for it hook, line and sinker. Although the businessman is supposed to be in a relationship with Carrie Wyatt, Laura Norton, he wouldn't care as he would want to get his foot back on the ladder. As Belle falls under his spell, the pair could start sleeping together as the businessman promises her the world and more. Although Belle is quite savvy, she has been known to fall under the influence of men before, which has got her into sticky situations in the past. The young woman has also been known for dating older men before, for example, she had a romance with Dr. Germaine Bailey, Micah Balfour, when she was 17 years old. He was married at the time and when their affair was exposed, his relationship crumbled and so did his fling with the teenager. Unfortunately, with Al, it is unlikely a romance would actually form as the businessman always has ulterior motives. Belle could be left distraught if she discovers he was just using her as a pawn in his game and he is going to make a business with her ideas. The young woman might think exposing their affair would destroy him but he wouldn't care if Carrie found out about them, frustrating Belle even more. However, the one person who could knock him down a peg or two would be Belle's older brother, Kane Dingle, Jeff Hordley. For ages, the village bad boy has had a feud with Al and he would love nothing better than to see the businessman six foot under. Knowing his arch enemies has now messed with his sister, Kane would make it his mission to make sure Al was silenced once and for all. This could be the catalyst for the big stunt Emmerdale bosses have teased to coincide with the Kane and Al storyline reaching ahead. How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in these tenders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death. How many times has Corey's Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? Who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003? Question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale? When did the show stop being known as Emmerdale Farm? On what day did Holly Oaks air its first episode? What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Holly Oaks' all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? 
who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street, who shot Phil in EastEnders. How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air producer of the show, Laura Shaw, spoke with Express. Co.uk and other media to explain the two men would go head to head again this year in an explosive storyline. The soap boss said, We're never ones to shy away from stepping outside of our comfort zone and usual storytelling style. We do have a very special episode coming up, which we're about to start shooting quite soon actually. This episode is going to spark off one of our biggest stories for this year, but in a different way. It's something we've not done before. It'll enable the audience to see the story from a whole different perspective to usual. I don't think I can say much more than that without giving it away. Laura added, I can also confirm that we do have one of our big special weeks planned for later in the year, which will contain the culmination of some of our biggest stories as well as the start of other big stories. And fingers crossed, COVID permitting, hopefully, we'll throw one of our infamous stunts in there as well. Executive producer Jane Hudson said, I think we can probably tease in our special week that Kane and ALS feud is definitely not over. Something will happen that will make those two have to look at their relationship with each other. So Terry's definitely going to be an explosive Kane slash L moment in our special week. I think the audience are really enjoying these two men constantly at war. Will Bell be the character to bring the men's war to an end?